Unfortunately, most patients uh, who are receiving checkpoint therapy as single agents with urothelial cancer don't respond. In the second line setting, the response rates are about 15 to 20 percent with single agent PD-1 or PDL one therapy. And in the first line setting, probably 25 to 30 percent. And so for the vast majority of patients, uh, they really see little or no benefit from immune checkpoint blockade. Um, and so we uh, need better options. For the most part, these are relatively well-tolerated treatments. Most patients are um, have uh, preserved performance status or sometimes even improved performance status even in the absence of response. Many of them are candidates to get other treatment later on. Um, there is the, the phenomenon of pseudoprogression that everyone hopes is happening when they see a patient with checkpoint therapy and growth of their tumors. But in reality, pseudoprogression, which means early progression and subsequent regression, is actually quite rare in metastatic urothelial cancer. And so if a patient looks like they're progressing on treatment, they probably are. If they're clinically worse, um, they probably need to change therapies.